As I am walking through the Dutch streets, end of November, I want to take you today back to October to Portugal, Lisbon. Hello, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Koosje Kuna and I am in Portugal. I am in Lisbon and it's beautiful here. And I am uh, going to draw the view that you see behind me from this window um, because that is my apartment in Lisbon and um, well you can see it's a little bit of a windy day this guy is popping open and closing again so I hope it won't obstruct my view uh, but that is the view and I will show you a better view from that window because it's a little bit higher up and I'll be using my gray tone sketchbook and I am here in Lisbon because I am researching locations for the Capture the Lisbon Wow workshop that I will be teaching with Cynthia Morris here in April in 2024. So this is just a little taste of how I would do a demo in April and yeah you get to see that just a little peek and of course if you want to uh, sign up for the Lisbon Wow capture the Lisbon Wow workshop it is for a small group so don't wait too long tickets are going quite fast so um, I will put the link below this video so you can sign up okay so this is the view it's kind of windy so that umbrella is just popping open and back again so I hope it stays folded up so I have my view and this is the view that I will be drawing from my apartment okay so I think this will be great for some of the rooftops and then I will add like super crazy bright pink I think um, or maybe I will use the pink for the rooftops. I might use more pink. Maybe introduce some blues. Maybe black. I don't know. White for the sky. And maybe this for the ocean. I, I'm not sure. I'll just get started. Where to start? Maybe I'll start with the sea. Uh, let's see. I'll do this. And it is a little bit like a negative space that I see. Negative shape. That's a start. Maybe I will use the... Yeah, I will use this not for the rooftops, but for some of the shapes that I see in... Um, like a beige kind of white, I think. I'm not trying to be true to the colors because it's impossible. I want to not be too slow either. I think I'll include this wall here. I'm not sure if that is a good decision, but we'll see about that. And this is the thing, you know, this is one of the things that Cynthia and I have been talking about today while we have been planning our workshop, um, capturing the Lisbon Wow. It, the whole process of drawing, a lot of people think they should be doing it right right away well there is no right or wrong to start with but also um, how can you know what is right the um, creative process is a very intuitive process and you cannot know on beforehand if when you are making decisions, if they are the right decisions, it's really about just following your intuition and just following your like inner inner child. Like this might be fun. I think I'll try this and we'll see what happens then. And that's the whole idea behind Capture the Lisbon Wow. It is about, it was really an adventure and it's about discovering the city, but also your creativity. And um, to do that together is just, I think, fantastic. Because you are sharing um, 
really amazing and wonderful experiences. Okay, this looks like nothing. And this is what I'm talking about. Trust the process. You can be sort of scared about it. It's fine. It's part of being an artist. Oh, okay. The umbrella just popped up. So I have part of my vision is now Part of my view is now obscure, but I can look around. It's fine. Oh, that also made me draw something that's not there. I'll figure it out. That's the thing about traveling, and journaling, and sketchbooking. You need to be flexible and um, not to be scared either, because it's just paper. regret this part. We'll see. Well, it's all explorations. It really all is explorations. And I love it. So what I'm basically doing is blocking out lots of shapes and hopefully I can make sense of it later. <laughs> and I say hopefully because of course you can make sense of it. It's a drawing. But yeah, you go through these phases when you draw, when you make art of insecurity, but also um, excitement. And um, yeah, you need to sort of feel it out. I guess that sounds very abstract. And maybe it is. But since you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. It's just that we all need a little bit more confidence to trust the process. Sorry, I keep bumping into the camera. You have to be flexible about that too. Um, so there's this like pale pink that I love, but maybe I need to just outline that in a different texture. That could work. Some pale pink in here too. I think these rooftops need texture and I'm going to be courageous and just pick a completely different color to draw on top. Let's see what happens. Let's be creative here and adventurous. trying to find textures rather than a perfect representation because yeah it's not going to happen and this already is sort of hmm, let's see there's a building here that I didn't quite find there and this is behind that I do like the color, this color, this teal color on the bright pink. So that was a good choice. There's a door here, I think. And then... Yeah, 
This is all in the foreground. I don't know how much emphasis I want on that. I'll just explore as I am drawing. And then there's the umbrella, which folded up again <laughs> by itself. Well, because of the wind, and I think I want to introduce that too because it is very much in the foreground and it is uh, billowing in the wind. So I'll draw it on top of it. And this color is kind of accurate, mm, but not. The umbrella is blue, and this is close enough. Maybe I'll just color it as if it's in. Um, backlit, and it is kind of backlit. Okay. Um, maybe now I also need to add this little fence here. To make sense of the space. And that's also the entrance to my apartment. Um, what's next? There's a corner here. on the floor. I do feel like it has very funky colors that might not be very representative of Portugal, of Lisbon, but these are just thoughts that are popping up as I am just having fun drawing this. So does it matter if it's represent representational? Um, it is definitely an interpretation, my interpretation, and um, also brought to the restriction of the stuff that I have with me. I feel like I'm not making sense while I'm talking, but it's hard to talk and draw at the same time. But I, I do think you understand what I mean. I have like limited tools, they're breaking in my hands too, and that the tools also add to um, your decisions, of course. Okay, maybe I will grab this light blue to and a little bit of an extra color and some texture. There's plants here that I'm not going to be very accurate about. There's plants here to just give a little bit of more layering and a little bit more going on. I like that. Can I use that somewhere else is the question. I'll keep going with these rooftops for a bit. to find a little bit of repetition there, pattern. Mm, I don't really like what's going on here. Maybe I should do something with that. Maybe I need to, because it feels like it's part of the Roof, but it isn't, so I'll just add this color to make more sense of it. And yes, that does calm the whole thing down, and I do now understand what I'm looking better. So that's good. Okay, this seems to be oh, this is much higher than that. Okay, I'll just 
make part of it up because that's not in my view that's okay and then there's tons of these fantastic antennas which I always love drawing so I'll have a little bit of fun with that Okay, so this side actually is already quite descriptive in my in my view. I don't know what you think about it, but I don't care because it's my drawing, not yours. Uh, so I will leave this for now, I think. And I need to go to this side of the page. So let's see. This is the sea. This is um, buildings. More rooftops, texture, and then this is a lovely curved rooftop as well. It's a little bit closer by. texture around and the umbrella. I don't know if that, just a little bit of extra color, I don't know if that makes sense, but oh goodness, I don't know if this was the right decision. It's a little bit too loose. Well, maybe not too loose. It's very loose. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and then this is in the foreground, so you can really hear the chatter of my inner critic, right? I think that's good. It's happening, and it happens to everyone. Like, oh no, this is all wrong. You just have to go through that. It's part of your process, and it's totally fine. Don't be scared about it. It's just part of it all. And if you just keep going, and trust the process, then you will see that it will turn out just fine. Don't worry too much about it because, again, it is just paper. So this aligns exactly with that roof, which is not the case in real life. So I'm wondering if I can make this a little bit higher so that it feels like a little bit more depth. I think that did the trick just a little. Uh, do I see any windows in there? Yes, I do. There's a corner here and a window there and there's a corner here. And there is not... Oh, there's a window here. Okay, that's good. Because I needed something there. Okay. This is really starting to look like something, in, in my humble opinion. And I, I'm just having, I'm just having a lot of fun doing this. Uh, let's add a little bit to the sky, maybe. Yes, loving that. Maybe it needs a little bit wide for clouds. Let's finish this part also. This part of the building there. I don't think that needs a lot more of description. I do need, do want to draw this because there's a church there and I'm looking at the back of it. It's cool. 
think that's enough to describe it. That's the other part of it. And there's a fence on top of this roof. Yeah, I like that I added that because it adds some extra layering. Okay. Let's assess, think about it. I like it. I like it. There's lots of different clouds now that it's almost sundown. So I will give some extra texture there. Maybe a little bit of texture to the water. I don't know if that was a good idea, that water, but yeah, I think it was. I can't draw on top of the crayon. <laughs> oh well. I don't want to go overboard with this. This might be enough. Enough, enough. Yes. I like it. I hope you liked that little video. I tried to narrate it while I was drawing and it's not that great, but I hope at least it was helpful or enjoyable to watch. And if you want to join me and Cynthia Morris on this fantastic adventure in Lisbon, then join us in April. Capture the Lisbon Wow is open for registration and Tickets are going fast. I am putting a link down below so you can find out everything about this trip and about us. And I maybe I will see you in Lisbon. Of course, I'll be here next week. Bye.